Hey guys, this is Mark coming to you from Thor. Today I'm gonna to show you a little video on SDI over fiber applications. So as you can see, I got a ton of stuff out here, uh, emptying out some closets, and this is some of the stuff we found. So I have connected three different cameras, uh, and an SDI pattern generator. We have a reel through the black box. I got this reel just to show you that it's just simple fiber, um, single mode. And I have this four channel SDI over fiber kit. Here's the receiver, simple jumper going to the fiber reel uh, and the transmitter is inputting over here. Uh, these units that you can see on the table in front of me, they come in a variety of sizes, uh, formats, um, and different auxiliary options. So if you guys have a specific need, give us a shout. Uh, we'll tell you what we can do. Otherwise you can check us out on the web, thorbroadcast.com and you can check out for yourself. But as you can see, we have four channel options single channel, really small compact units. Like this guy is, you know, smaller than my hand, uh, really tiny guys. So if you need them for compact applications, we have those. We also have the bi-directional units with ethernet and also rack mount 1RU eight channel units and also four channel bi-directional units all up to HDSDI over single mode fiber or multi-mode fiber up to a couple thousand feet. Um, so as you can see, we just have this simple setup couple cameras and the pattern generator coming to this receiver. So if you just go ahead and take the receiver uh, and plug in your first source, I believe the first source is a camera, yeah. So I have a remote control for the camera. We're not using RS today, but as you can see, you can just use one of these really fancy uh, cameras with a uh, remote control and you can kind of show, uh, you know, what it can do, tilt, tilt, tan, zoom, all that stuff. Really neat, jazzy stuff here. And again, you can use these for conference calls. You can use these uh, for sports, athletics, uh, concerts, venues, um, you know, you name it, wherever you need a really high profile camera for HDSDI or HDMI. I believe these cameras have both inputs um, or outputs rather. Um, and again, they can come with a remote or you can use RS control. RS control is done through the Phoenix terminal on these units. And the RS control actually uh, lets you do a variety of things all of our units come stock with RS-485. We can use auxiliary functions to do RS-422, uh, RS-232, or even bi-directional audio, um, contact closure. There's a whole lot of options that come with these, which is really cool. We can add in these auxiliary cards and they can manipulate what the functionality is. So again, uh, this is the first video. The second one, I believe, is just this slender looking camera, and that's me um, now on the TV. Again, uh, you, know, you can use the uh, remote here to control them you know th again this is another camera we have here so the really cool cameras there's a lot they can do uh, they're packed full of features and again going to our next channel we have the pattern generator set up which is a really cool function uh, functional gadget again these things are compact size of my hand it's just gonna put out a very low um, kind of picture here of just color bars uh, and it should have some sound if we turn up the audio but it can do 720 up to 1080p uh, in either format of NTSC or PAL. Uh, so again, those are really inexpensive and they're great just to test out your fiber transceiver kits. Uh, you can use them as just a you know, good old video source if you don't have a camera handy just to check your lines and see if they're functioning. Uh, and again, when you're using fiber optics, uh, I always strongly encourage everybody to have an OTDR. This is a very basic meter. Again, uh, if I took this out and showed you that, you know, Reasonably speaking, they're fairly easy to use. You just have to plug this fiber in and it'll give you a, a reading. So as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, it has about a zero dB reading right now, which is kind of stellar. So again, uh, really easy to use and having a meter on hand to do whatever you guys are trying to do will be very beneficial to the project in general. So again, uh, you guys can complete any project with SDI over fiber really quickly. Um, I didn't even put this in, these are the bayonet style ones. So again, I just wanted to show you guys a few different options. If you guys need anything for SDI over fiber, uh, this is something we really do a lot. We have a lot of companies uh, that call us repeatedly for this kind of product. Uh, and we're happy to help because again, SDI is, you know, the higher definition version of just doing something more commercially applicable. So, you know, if you guys are using these for any sports venues, either in high school, uh, using these sort of fiber transmitter receiver kits is really inexpensive and you can put a camera thousands of feet away, miles away. Again, our little compact units here, this little guy or any of these really will do up to 20 kilometers on single mode fiber without a question. 
Uh, so again, you know, you can control these guys, use RS or remote control. Uh, they're really, really easy to use. Uh, so again, if you guys have any, uh, you know, security questions about cameras or how to get them back to a head end. So either you can record those videos or just watch them in real time or upload to Facebook so everybody can see them. There's a whole lot of uses for this kind of, uh, you know, commercial grade uh, fiber transceiver equipment. So again, if you guys have any questions, give us a call 1-800-521-8467 or check us out online, thorbroadcast.com. Thanks.